Ray, thank you for being here as part of our emergency response hero um, award. Can you tell us your position at Mercy Flight and what happened when you responded to that call? Sure. Uh, I'm a Mercy Flight Central Paramedic. I've been there for over 10 years. Uh, work hand in hand along with a nurse and a pilot who obviously uh, gets us to places where we need to go. On that day in February, there, we got called for a gentleman with his arm in a trash compactor. Unbeknownst to us, we thought it was a little trash compactor inside a house. Well, we got there, and it was an old school garbage truck, and he was on top of, a, on top of the platform, and the hydraulic gate went uh, frontwards to backwards, and for some reason, his arm clothing got caught in the gate and uh, pulled him back, and his arm, basically his up to his shoulder was stuck in a space about that much. Um, due to the fact that uh, the hydraulic system was still on and they couldn't, uh, they couldn't move the gate back and forth, he was stuck there. Um, fire department's already there. Sheriff's closed off the road, it, it, and it was a cold day. There was a lot to consider. Wow, that, that's scary. How, how did you respond? What did you do next? Well, my partner and I, we got there, and I went right up to the patient. I asked him how he was doing. He was obviously very scared, very shocky. A um, little bit of blood coming from uh, where his shoulder was. We didn't know the extent of his injuries. My first thing was just to calm him down. The fire chief was there and said this can be a lengthy extrication. And looking at the heavy gauge steel on the truck, we knew we were going to be there a while. Right away, we requested support for the personnel and the patient. We uh, a lot of tarps. We had to get uh, space heaters, so to say, out there and blow blow the heat up towards the patient because it was very, very cold. We covered them up, and uh, we just asked for us to support. And in fact, at one point, we uh, contacted our dispatchers, our communication center at Mercy Flight Central, and asked them to fly to Strong to get the uh, surgical team to come out and for a possible amputation. Wow, and I heard that you held the gentleman up for three hours. Yeah, uh, two and a half, three hours, something like that. <laughs> uh, it, was very, it was very interesting. Um, he was in so much pain that we had to give him pain medication. However, he was stuck with his arm up, and he was in a standing position, and if we gave him too much pain medication, he would start to slouch down. His body couldn't hold himself up. So basically, I took my arm, and... I, I sort of wrapped my wrist in, in his belt, and I just held him up with my weight while my partner was giving him medications, and I was talking to him, trying to coordinate everything that was going on. Oh, my goodness. Is this a normal thing that happens with Mercy Flight? Are these the kind of calls that you go on all the time? Or was this yeah, out of the ordinary? It, it's out of the ordinary. Usually you don't get people trapped. Uh, you do. The fire departments do a phenomenal job of giving them extric extricated by the time you get there. But uh, occasionally you get the people that are trapped just for several hours, and you just have to work with what you have. Um, the jobs at Mercy Flight, uh, they're no different from the calls in the city or whatnot. It's just the, the distance factor. 